So, um, Breaking Bad is a TV. Well, it was a TV show, and it's now on Netflix. And I've heard about I heard about it before I eventually got around to watching it. And I think I finished watching the last episode. I think it was either last night or the night before. So I've had a bit of time to think about this. Um, think about it, and um. It is a good show. It's not my favourite show of all time, but it is an older show, so I wasn't going in expecting it to be my favourite show of all time, but I do really like it. Um, basic plot summary, um, without any major spoilers. Walter White is a over... Uh, is an overqualified... Uh, Science teacher in a uh, college, uh, and uh, did he and after his fiftieth uh, birthday, um, he is uh, told the day after his fiftieth fiftieth birthday he was told that he has cancer. He refused to get to take money from um, his uh, some a couple of his friends out of pride. Um, and then he takes his brother-in-law's offer, and his brother-in-law in law is in the DA. And so he took up his offer to um, go on a drug bust. Um, and the, um, one of the guys uh, that was one of the people who was making the drugs, uh, uh, something Pinkman, Jesse Pinkman. Um, Managed to escape, and uh, Walt recognised him because he was one of his old students. And uh, hit Walter White and Jesse Pinkman uh, start cooking uh, um, meth. Uh, um, meth, so uh, Walt would have some money to leave behind to his children after he died from cancer and also for chemo. Um, and just insanity in in shoes. Like, it does get more and more insane as it goes on, but um, it is still fairly insane at the beginning. And um, now, I will be starting to get into a bit of spoilers here because I'm going to be talking about the characters, and it's a bit hard to talk about the characters and how they develop and change without real spoilers. So, um, the main character, I'm not only going to be talking about the main characters that you will probably see in almost every episode. So, Walter White. I really do like him. I know a lot of people didn't like him, but I really did like him. And um, in in my opinion, he I, I like him because he starts off as a good guy, doing bad things for the right reasons. Then he and then even at the end of it, he he admits that in in that like, he's it turns on that to him. Being a kind of a, like a bad guy, doing bad things for the wrong reasons, and then he goes back to being a good guy, doing good thing, uh, bad things for the right reasons. Um, so it's kind of like a fall, and then kind of like a rebirth kind of story. And what I like about Walter White is that everything he does is realistic, like. If I was in his position, if I was a, an a, a overly qualified uh, chemistry teacher who suddenly had cancer and not really the means to pay for it, I would probably, uh, you know, if I was in his exact position, I would probably do the same thing he did. That's not to say I'd ever be able to do what he did because I'm, uh, while I am good at science, I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite that good. Anyway, um. But, but yeah, I, I particularly like him, and um, if you want to know particularly where I thought he stopped being a good guy doing bad things for good reasons, I would say probably about the time he poisoned the kid, um, because he he didn't want Jesse to get, didn't want to be replaced by Jesse, if I'm Gus. You could argue with slightly earlier when the when they killed that other guy that I can't remember his name, and uh, because 
Well, you could say that Gus was actually going to kill him and then replace him with that other guy, so... I think uh, the kid is a more solid point where you can say, yeah, that there was no real good reason why he did that. He was just manipulating his friend uh, into helping him kill Gus. Um, and at the, the point where I think he redeemed himself by showing that he's he you know he's still you know redeemed himself and is a tennis back to being a good guy doing bad things for good for the right reason. I would have to say after his wife take pulls a knife on him and cuts him and then his son calls police. Well, let me just talk about this a bit before a minute. So. Um, the wife um, protects the son, you know, he, he has a son and daughter, which I'm not really going to talk about, the daughter's an infant, the son doesn't really have too much bearing most of the time, he's just mostly a side character. Um, I, I, and, and I'll get more into uh, the wife, wife after Walter, but she pulls a knife on him and then cuts him and then Walter basically wrestles the knife off her. And then just it's just holding her down. And my question is, the son up to this point was rock solidly on Walter's side, but I don't know what happened. But he just he just decided to turn on his dad. It's not like Walter was holding the knife to her. He was actually holding the knife away, and that, that turn just seemed a bit like out of no it seemed out of nowhere to me maybe i missed something but like i said it just seemed out of the blue to me um but yeah his son calls cops then walter now this is this debatable whether or not this is the moment where he turns because he does kidnap the his infant daughter which does put the wife in the distress but um, he does later on retain the daughter. Now you could argue that he always took her with the intention of retaining her later, and you could very argue well. Argue, you could very well argue that um, after the next thing I'm going to talk about. But you could also argue that. Um, he was, it was, he just took her in the heat of the moment and it's just another time he was just doing a bad, the bad thing, a bad thing for the bad, re, for bad reasons or whatever. Um, so I think he did, I think it was more planned out. I think he took her because later on, on the, um, he calls um, his wife and the, uh, the police are back there by now and the, um, he asks her if the police are there and she pauses and is like, you know, he asks if she's alone, and she's like, no, nobody else is here, after a big pause, so, you kind of get that he probably knows the police are there, um, but what really cements it that he knows the police are there, is that he, 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 he keeps on saying stuff that he never actually said, like saying, oh, I warned, I warned you if you crossed me, there'd be consequences, which he never did, um, and the closest thing he could even say to that is like he said uh, that he is the one who knocks, uh, meaning that he like knocks at people's doors and kills them and all that. Um, but no, I think and it, it was confirmed later on when he was talking to Saul Saul Goodman um, that uh, he purposely made himself look bad to make his wife look better, look like the victim. Um, which is also why, um, which is, this is, this is the first thing I noticed. He didn't bring up the fact that he, she pulled a knife on him. Like, it, if he, uh, if he wasn't, uh, you know, doing a show for the cops, the first thing I think anyone would have said at that point in time was, what the fuck, you pulled a knife on me, are you fucking crazy? Um... So, yeah, I think that that is the point. At the latest, you could say that he turned from a bad guy doing bad things for bad reasons to a good guy 
doing bad things for the right reasons once again. Um, purposely incriminating himself to uh, make his wife look innocent or, or like a victim. Um, uh, and uh, I saw the ending and, uh, the, uh, and I watched a film episode of Film Theory after I finished Breaking Bad, but, um, oh excuse me, after in the film, in Film Theory, my part mentioned that a lot of people thought he died, and it's like, what? I, at the end of the series, I was like, I didn't think that, like, he was wounded, but I didn't think he was dead, like, even by the end of it, he was surrounded by cops, so he would have gotten medical attention pretty quickly, um, and so, yeah, so I never thought he died at the end, and um, a, lo a common complaint was that he got everything he wanted, His, the money would go to the kid, uh, his son and um, all that but it's just like no he didn't get everything he wanted and you would only know that he didn't get everything he wanted if he had been paying attention there's two things that he wanted that he didn't get the first thing is established earlier earlier on um, where um, Walt's wife is like don't you want to see your daughter grow up and he said yes of course I do. So he clearly wanted to see his daughter grow up, which he did not get. Well, either due to cancer killing him, or because he's in prison for goodness knows how long. Um, and the second thing he didn't get, which would be blatantly obvious, uh, because this was not so... This wasn't super late, but it's, it wasn't too long ago. Um, it Walter was talking to Walter Jr., um, his son, and that, um, he said that how he didn't really remember because his dad because his dad died when he was like six or something. He didn't really remember any of the good times. He just remembered like how he how scary it was seeing him in the hospital bed and he didn't wa and he wanted his son to remember him not like that but like you know in a positive light but now that um his bro his brother-in-law what what is his name oh i can't remember his name but his brother-in-law is dead and his son re really loved his brother-in-law um and um, his son now hates him. Um, and uh, yeah, so he didn't get that either. So yeah, that's two things that he wanted, but he didn't get. Also, I like the little bit. Also, uh, mm. also you could argue that Walt turned from. A good guy doing a bad guy doing bad things for bad reasons to a good guy doing the bad things for good reasons. When in the middle of the desert, Walt and his brother-in-law, um, his brother-in-law with Jesse Pickman and his um, and his partner, Law tricked Walt into going to where he where he hid his money, and then a gang that Walt hired came up and. Uh, Walt was willing to give away all of his money if they let his brother-in-law live and he did not obviously because I just said he died and his family blamed Walt um so yeah um I think that I think that's when you could say he turned from a bad guy a good from bad guy doing bad things for bad reasons to a good guy doing bad things for good reasons because again, he was willing to give up all of his money just to save his brother-in-law's life, who had just tricked him and lured him, lured him out to, you know, into revealing where his money was, and had, uh, um, and had uh, tried to arrest and was about to arrest him before the um, gang came and uh, had a shootout with him. Um, but you could probably still say he was a little bit. He still had a little bit of bad in him, uh, because he did reveal to Jesse that he let he let his uh, 
um, last girlfriend that choked death in her own puke, basically, when she overdosed. Um, now on to Walter's wife. She's not the worst character. That'll be her sister, which uh, I'll probably talk about after Walter's um, brother-in-law. Um, but yeah, Walter's wife. I, again, I'm really bad with names, so I'm sorry that I can't remember her name. She is my least favourite. Not the worst, but still my least favourite. Just mainly because she wrote me re in the wrong way really badly two times. The first time was when uh, she cheated on Walt and she looked him in the eyes and was like, I fucked Ted. That was the first time that just really rubbed me wrong. And then the second time is when she told him that she's just waiting for his cancer to come back and kill him. That's the second time where she really rubbed me wrong. And she, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can, she is sympathetic. Being, and the only thing keeping her from being the worst character is the fact that she does love her family and she wants to keep her children safe, even if it uh, means um, sending them away, at least temporarily. Um, but yeah, I just, I just don't like her because she's sympathetic, but she's just, those two moments for me, to me, just ruin her character and just make her, send her into the bit that's unforgivable. She's not the worst character, but she's, she's bad. She's a bad character. Bad character. Again, the only thing keeping her from being one of the worst characters is that she does actually care for her family. Walter's brother-in-law. Now, here's this little something that's quite clever that they did. Walter is a school teacher and, uh, you know, on the outside he seems like all kind and approachable and everything, but he, you know, in uh, inside he's all gruff and mean and he's actually kingpin. Where um, Walt's brother-in-law, again I can't remember his name, I'm really bad with names. Um, he is, or he's a DA agent and a, you know, cop, so he's all like big and tough on the outside but he's actually a big huggable teddy on the inside. Which I think is a really nice contrast between the two, especially, you know, one, especially with uh, him work, you know, working so hard to catch Heisenberg, which he didn't know was Walter White's um, alter ego. Um, and uh, I really do think they do contrast each other quite well. And, uh, and, he, and he is a good guy that does bad things for the right reasons as well but in different ways like and he also suffers with a bit of an inferiority complex so like um uh like an example of him doing the wrong thing for the right reasons um when he shot um Tuco to death um without it uh and then lied about how it all went down like he sh he should have like said hands up and all that when he didn't and he just started firing um, that and um, uh, and uh, when uh, um, and uh, uh, a bit that shows him suffering with like inferiority was when um, Saul helped Jesse and Walter um, they were trapped in the in an RV and um, uh, they needed they needed him to go away, so um, uh, Saul Goodman got his um, assistant to call um, Walt's brother-in-law, telling him that his wife had been in a horrible accident and that she's in the hospital. Which uh, and she and like they mentioned her and him by name and all that, and it really shook him up and it, um, it made him feel like he couldn't really protect his wife or anything and it made him scared so he lashed out at Jesse Pinkman and beaten him to the point where he needed to go to the hospital. Um, but he, Hank, that's his name, Hank. Hank is honestly the best character. Walter's still my favourite but Hank is 
the best. He is the most moral. The only problem I have with Hank, and this is a big problem, is that when he finds out that Walt is Heisenberg, he turns like that. And I think it should have shown more of him mauling it over, just like, I can't turn him, I mean, he's, he's my brother-in-law, I, I love the guy like a brother. And it, um, when he found out that um, his uh, um, therapy after he, he his legs got paralyzed was basically paid with drug money, you should have seen him have an ins more of an existential crisis. Um, with I just like the only reason I'm walking now is because Walt did the made, was a made all that meth and everything and you should have seen and I wish I we had seen more of his moral co you know conflict there turn turn Walt in don't turn Walt in um, and the fact that he's only walking now because of drug money which he was. Which he was planning on turning Walter White in for. And. Yeah. Now on to his wife. I think it's. Is it Mary? Mary, Mary? I don't know what his wife's name is. Anyway Walter's wife's sister. I can't I'm really bad at na names. Um, she is. The worst character. Like I feel sorry. For. Actually I forgot his name again. Matt, no, not Mike. Um, I feel sorry for him that he has such a bad wife because she's a thief. And when the, and she, she literally stated that she could not be happier when she thought Walt was being arrested. She could not be happier that her own sister's life is falling around her. And what I would have loved is um. It's for her and her husband to have argued more about turning Walter in and, you know, him being like, it'll destroy their lives and, he's, and their family. And she's like, who cares if their family, they lie to us and blah, 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 blah. And I would like to see more of that kind of back and forth between those two. Um, and, it, uh, um, yeah, uh... She is just horrible to the point where, when she found out that uh, Hank, I, I remember his name again, when she found out that Hank had died, I was actually a little bit happy because it's just, I don't know if it's irony, I think it's irony or karma that she took so much joy in others' lives being destroyed. That it actually that they then turned around and that her life was destroyed. It's just a little bit of happiness there, uh, and adding on to the fact that she is completely unlikable. Um, also, she she was the first person to try and uh, kidnap um, the little girl. Yeah. Um, Jesse Pink. Moving on to Jesse Pinkman. By God, they did this character dirty. They broke him in every imaginable way. Um, they they broke him mentally uh, a couple of times. They broke him physically several times. Like the, the, in the first season, last season he got it really bad. When he got beat up by Hank, it was really bad. They broke him physically several times and. This character just can't seem to catch a break. Whenever he is, seems to be winning, he gets kicked down and beaten up. And it's he is probably the most sympathetic character. Apart from maybe Hank. Hank is quite a sympathetic character because he is just a, usually genuinely a good guy. But he listens to his brother-in-law when he... Walter... Um, when, uh, you know, he's talking about marital problems, but yeah. Jesse Pinkman just got the dirty in this. Um, oh, anybody else that's really worth mentioning? Um, the PI. Uh, quickly, I'm just going to run through some quick thoughts. 
Um, Saul Goodman. Um, I like him. Well written. That's uh, good. And is very believable. I don't know much about law, but um, from what I've heard, it's his advice is sound. Um, the PI guy that worked for both Saul and black guy, I can't remember his name. He he was he was quite good. I like how he was doing it all for his granddaughter and then the black guy. The only I didn't really hate him or like him that much. Um, but I will admit he did get the coolest shot. With his death, after it had blown up, he had walked, and you just see his tie, and you only see one side of his face, and you just think, "How did he?" Su I, I literally say out loud, "How did he survive that?" And it pans around, and it's like half of his, the other half of his face, blown off, um, and it was just a really cool shot. Um, who else is worth mentioning? Uh. Hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much all of them that's worth mentioning, really. I mean, there was those. I don't. I think they were neo Nazi guys. I, I think my past said they were neo Nazis, and so did um. Why is quite so? I presume they were neo Nazis. If they were, I didn't really notice, which might be a little bit bad. Anyway. Um, they sing. They they bit contributed to like the cool one of the cool the, the probably the second coolest scene after that. But that was most mostly Walters doing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all of the characters. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, uh, to keep this video uh, from not going on too long, and it's also half ten, so I, um, I'm a bit tired, so I might start repeating myself and rambling. So, um, I'm going to give this show a quick rating out of ten. Um, and, you know, in my opinion, one is, you know, has next to nothing cut no reason to watch it. 5 is okay, 10 is basically perfect, and my rating for this would be 8 out of 10. N again, not the best show ever, but I wasn't really expect going in expecting the best show ever, and it's definitely better than okay, and I'd say that there, and, and I'd say that there was just enough cool moments, heartwarming moments, heartbreaking moments, the characters were strong enough to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, but yeah. Tell me, what do you what do you think? Who what's your favourite character? Do you agree with my thoughts and opinions? Or do you disagree? You know, just whatever. You future video suggestions, whatever you want to put down in the comment section, put down below. Just no spam or hate or anything. Yeah, that all that all gets um deleted. I delete all the Comments that I think aren't really worth anything. That's like this video shit. I delete comments like this, but I, I accept criticism. It's like you could have done this better. I I let them stay, but it's just like this video shit. And then that's the end of the comment. I delete them. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.